Confident. Afghan Taliban await victory after allies leave. It is only a matter of time for them. The Taliban, who congratulate themselves on having defeated the Americans, are preparing on the ground to regain control of Afghanistan by restoring an ultra rigorous regime. These arrogant Americans thought they could eliminate the Taliban, mocks Mullah Misbah, commander of the insurgents in the fighting devastated Ghazni province in the central eastern part of the country. But the Taliban have defeated the Americans and their allies. And if Allah wills, an Islamic regime will be established in Afghanistan when the Americans are gone, insists to AFP the man who presents himself as the head of public health for the insurgents in Ghazni. Inter-Afghan talks that started in September in Qatar are stalling. Meanwhile, the Taliban are taking advantage of the ongoing withdrawal of U.S. forces to gain ground. Since the launch of a new phase of operations in early May, they have taken control of at least 30 districts out of around 400. With American air support becoming scarce, Afghan forces battled to supply many outposts surrounded by insurgents, forcing troops to abandon their positions, especially in the countryside. The Taliban have taken control of two districts in Ghazni, a key province located between two major roads connecting Kabul to Kandahar, south, the second largest city in the country. The Taliban are now present in almost all provinces and surround several major cities. A worrying strategy that they applied in the 1990s to seize almost the entire country and install their regime, which fell after the American intervention in 2001. Confident Taliban. Many fear that they are preparing a major offensive on the cities after the departure of the Americans and their allies. The government assures us that the army is able to repel them, emphasizing their weaknesses, lack of heavy weapons and inability to resist the strikes of the Afghan Air Force. But Mullah Misbah is not worried. For him, the victory will be that of the Taliban as soon as the international troops have completed their withdrawal, theoretically no later than September 11, said U.S. President Joe Biden. Once the Americans leave, it, the government, will not even last five days, said the commander. With pride, he guides AFP in a clinic captured by the insurgents whose walls still bear the scars of the fighting. When their masters are defeated, the slaves will no longer be able to beat the Islamic Emirate, mocks the white turbaned Taliban about the Afghan army, while giving his orders by radio. The defense ministry declined to comment. According to a Taliban spokesperson in Peshawar, Pakistan, speaking on condition of anonymity, the future of this war will be decided at the level of those responsible. It is normal for military commanders to want to use force, he told AFP. But decisions are made at the top, by the board of leaders, and the commanders will obey. Training by the Red Cross Behind the front lines, the Taliban daily administer the areas they control. Mullah Misbah has managed for two years, with the help of the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, through the intermediary of the Red Crescent, the clinic rested by his troops from the government. The inhabitants receive medicine and treatment there. Injured Taliban fighters are also treated there and quickly evacuated to avoid airstrikes. The clinic also offers first aid training, given by ICRC employees, who also train Afghan forces in Ghazni, in accordance with the organization's charter of neutrality. So we can help the wounded on the battlefield, said a Taliban fighter. Sporting long beards and carrying a K-47 assault rifles over their shoulders, Taliban fighters mingle with villagers. A single dirt road connects the district of Andar to the city of Ghazni, capital of the eponymous province. Along the road, fields and farmers' houses are sometimes equipped with solar panels powering irrigation pumps. The only visible women wear the burqa, a garment that covers completely from head to toe. No security. The Islamic Emirate does not have many wounded combatants. Most of the patients are civilians affected by airstrikes by enemy forces, said Mullah Misbah. But nothing supports this statement. The Taliban and the government regularly exaggerate the number of victims on the opposing side and accuse each other of attacking civilians. The growing presence of the Taliban near Ghazni raises fears of a possible assault on the provincial capital. This scenario already happened in 2018, 
the bazaar had been destroyed and many civilians killed. The Taliban are very close to the city, worries Ahmad Rahim, a trader. There is no security here, he laments. Ya Shayla, Ya Shayla, MashaAllah. Islam is happy again. Abdul Aziz, we just came out of the bar, Miyam. Come on, come on, come on.